Hi there, Susan Winter. Welcome to my channel. I'm continuing to read the questions that you send me. And today I'm talking about the dream. That's why I'm wearing this t-shirt. I have one of my viewers who's actually using the terminology that I use called the dream and trying to find a way to unlock that from the person that they have fallen for. And when I say the dream, for those of you that are new to my channel, it means the blank canvas upon which we have painted our desired outcome for romance. And when we've met a certain person or seen somebody, we immediately fuse that person onto our dream, which can be tricky because humans are humans and humans are not always up to the task of giving us our dream. Sometimes they inspire it because they catalyze our imagination, which is what we're talking about today. And I am reading a video request from Marie. So Marie, thank you for this. Marie writes, hi, Susan, love your work. Thanks for everything. A man from work gave me my dream, but he got married and my world crumbled. At 30, I've only ever been attracted to three men, dated the other two. Happens only when I truly reciprocate with an equally intense intellectual, spiritual, and physical attraction. How to escape the obsession loop when he still pulls me in. How to save a dream that fits only him. Marie love this, you know, your answer is in your question. What you did is you did reverse design. You, you made the dream and you put him in it. He might've been the catalyst. You may have seen qualities in this person that you admired. You didn't date him, you dated two other people. And I know there were lots of connections. You got intellectual, emotional, sexual, it's all going on. Okay, you had all that, but he chose another partner. You didn't actually get together, but he probably expanded whatever existing dream you had before because you looked at him and realized, wow, I can have all of that. Now, problem number one, he's still at work and you're still at work. So you're forced to see him all the time. That's very, very, very difficult to get over. Whether it's our ex dropping off the kids and it was not our idea to separate or whether it's that we have to see our ex all the time in a work environment or in a gym or in our apartment building, whatever. So that is harder, I agree. But the work for you to do is to separate the dream from the person. And that is how we get out of obsession. And if you've watched my other videos and I sound like a loop, I'm gonna say it again until you get it. You never know. In my profession, I never know exactly what word, what term, what phrase, and what moment it's gonna go, oh, that's it. I'm hoping this is it for you. So you have locked this man who's unavailable, very unavailable, into your dream because he inspired your dream. Now I understand, even if you'd fallen in love, been involved with him and he inspired a dream that you never knew was possible. When that person leaves, we feel bereft of all hope. It's like we have, we have believed in a breakup that when the person trots away, they have taken our dream with them. And that's not the case. You created your dream. They may have expanded the boundaries a little bit, but you created the dream. They may have even inspired the dream, but it's your dream to edify, to, to amend, to change things. And your dream, the dream of what you want to create in your romantic design should be ever expanding drawing upon the new component pieces that you like, that when you see somebody or you experience something, you go, oh, that's delicious. I love that. I want to keep that in this recipe. And the things that don't work for you, you want to take their positive opposite and say, but, you know, I want somebody committed to me. I want somebody that even though they feel all of these things, they feel it only for me. And they go the distance. They don't take 
all that they've kind of flirted with me or the stuff that we barely experienced and then apply it to somebody else. So that's an amendment to your dream. So my answer to you is exactly what I have written here. You keep the dream and you replace the person and you will not be able to leave the obsession if you believe that that man is your one and only and he has trotted off into the sunset with some other person because that is hopeless. Remember, the dream is yours. The dream is eternal. Nobody takes that from you. You are testing out partners as they walk through your life. This one, you didn't even date. So for any of you in this situation that are stuck in an obsessive loop, I understand. Believe me, I would not be able to tell you this if I hadn't gone there and gone there and gone there and looked for a thousand exit doors and finally found one nobody told me about. But when I got it, I got it. Will it hurt? Yes. Come on, I gotta be real with you. Even recognizing this, you will feel loss. You'll feel pain. I'm not gonna lie to you, but you will feel an enormous sense of relief because while you, the difference is you wanted it to be them. And while you wanted it to be them, you're sad that it wasn't them. But you're very, very, very clear on the fact that that dream is yours. That person does not need to be the one that you have in your dream. Okay, that's the difference. Your dream is now crafted for someone new. Go back, refresh the design. Marie, in your case, make sure somebody wants to be there and finds you irresistible and can't imagine a moment in their lives where they don't want to be with you because that's your real dream, right? I hope this helped everybody. Keep the dream, replace the person. That's why I put this quote on my merch Take a look at it. I think anyone going through this should just get themselves a coffee mug that says the same thing. Keep the dream, replace the person. Every morning when you have your coffee or when you have your tea or if you pour your wine in it at night, take a look at it and remind yourself, keep the dream, replace the person. Marie, thank you for writing me. Anybody wants a consultation, check out susanwinter.net. Go to the consultation page. If you want to write me, and have me answer your question, go to the contact page under Lauren, under my agent, go to the box that says Q&A, video requests, and perhaps I will read yours. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone.